Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to have a discussion with you about the stuff that I am struggling with as a first time mom. Don't get me wrong, I came into this knowing that, you know, motherhood isn't easy, you know, because my time is no longer my own in a sense. So, I went into this expecting there to be some hardships or a learning curve, you know, never being a mom before. But it's been a little harder than I thought it would be. The first thing I wanna mention is postpartum body acceptance. I have struggled with that, um, especially coming from the bodybuilding world and going from a body like this to a body like this. So that's been hard to accept. I know I can get back to a level of fitness that I'm sure I'll be happy um, to meet, but initially it was hard. Um, my solution was, you know, encouraging myself to get back into working out and attempting to eat a little better. Not saying that I ate bad while I was pregnant, because I didn't, um, but I did start eating more sweets and stuff when I was pregnant, mainly due to cravings and things like that. Hopefully I'll be able to be proud of my progress in by the end of the year. We'll say by the end of the year. And I'm sorry if you hear his congestion. <laughs> um, yeah, the expected struggle that hit me a little harder than I thought it would is sleep deprivation. So when he first got home, keep in mind, I had to have a C-section. If you saw my previous video, I couldn't really move around a lot. So I ended up kind of dependent on Marcus very heavily. Then when I healed up enough to do more, the whole motherhood instinct thing, yeah, it kicks in heavy, or at least it did with me. Every move, <laughs> like just every little thing he would do would wake me up. And it weighs on you, you know, not getting but a couple of hours of sleep here and there and then having to like get up, get up. <laughs> when he's ready to get up, it's, it's a lot. So what I have started doing to try to solve that struggle is we have a nighttime routine now. Once it hits maybe, I would say 8.30, 9 o'clock, we prepare, we make sure, you know, his diapers changed. We make sure we have a bottle at the ready, warm. We dim the lights and then I read him a book and either he falls asleep while I'm reading. If he doesn't fall asleep, then I usually sing him to sleep and we have the relaxing, sounds music playing on the Sonos in the bedroom and we lay them in there. <laughs> Next, I would like to discuss um, just that mom guilt feeling and imposter syndrome all thrown into one. So I did um, suffer from postpartum depression. I, when I first got home, I was crying a lot. I, felt useless, especially because I had a C-section and how traumatic the experience was for me. I just didn't feel like myself, in which I wasn't myself. I was a new version of me because now I was a mom. 
is trying to identify and figure out wh who the new me is. That's from how I view things, my perspective has changed. It's only a struggle because I find myself in some situations where I want to do what the pre-mom Ashley would do, and I can't. So it's working through it and giving myself some grace. That's, that's the overall solution to struggling to find who you are as a first time mom or a mom period. It's finding the time to take a moment, take a breath, accept who you're becoming and work from there. We took him to daycare for the first time. That's when I realized, I was like, I don't know who I am without him being here, without me doing the mom thing. And it was like, I just completely forgot who I was before. So that's whenever the light bulb went off of, I need to find out who the new me is and embrace it. Don't mourn or grieve for how old things used to be. Accept those things that you cannot change. And this is one of those things. I can't change being his mom. And I wouldn't want to. The next struggle, OMG, pumping slash breastfeeding. While we're in the hospital, I would feed him the breast and he ended up blistering my nipples and we had to s stick with the donor milk until they healed. So that was an experience. So instead of doing direct to breast after my nipples healed, I chose to just pump. And in the beginning, I was like an over supplier. I was, every pump session, I was getting eight to what could be up to 16 ounces of milk. And at the time he was only drinking like two ounces. I mean, he is now at like four. Um, so it ended up being a lot, but the thing about pumping or breastfeeding is if you don't do it in a timely manner, it makes your breasts hurt, they get hard, um, and it can be painful, you know. So that time management is very serious and legit if you choose to, br to pump or breastfeed because your body is going to tell you, Houston, we have a problem if you do not do it in a timely manner. And me, I'm not gonna lie, it's so annoying because it's a chore. You become a cow and it's a chore. It, it's, it's a chore. <laughs> so when I filled up both our freezers and I ended up donating over 900 ounces to a mom who just mentally couldn't keep breastfeeding. So it was good to help somebody. So I am calculating how much breast milk I have in the freezer out in the garage because I plan on donating it to a new mom that needs it because I have an oversupply. Um, so I finished calculating everything and yeah, 965.5 ounces. What I'm about to mention next is like the main struggle I've had and I'm still having. And I haven't really figured out what solution works best for me yet. And that's time management. I am struggling heavily with time management. I 
just can't seem to find time for myself, to find time with my husband, just to do basic things like chores. All of these things I discussed in therapy. I love my therapist. She, especially since she's a mom herself, she knows the struggle. And so whenever I talk about certain things, it's not taken in a negative context. It's taken in a very understanding way. And sometimes she just reassures me like, girl, I get it. And sometimes that's all I need to hear is, girl, I get it. Like, <laughs> that's normal. But you're doing a great job because I know when he first got home, I thought I was being a terrible mom, you know, and I, I don't know if I should have had a child. And she's like, no, you're doing amazing for a first time mom. Sometimes you just need reassurance, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So in case you need that right now, I am here to say you are doing an amazing job. No matter what you're struggling with, you'll figure it out. It's going to take time, but trust me, you got this. You are doing an amazing job as a mom. <laughs>